Uh, there in this video I'm gonna explain you how you can uh, this is the part 2 of the APM tutorial so in this uh, tutorial I'm gonna explain you the capabilities for Android automation then how to inspect elements how to automate web applications and then how to automate the native applications and hybrid applications as well so let's start with this capabilities so which capabilities we require for Android automation so this is the list of the capabilities that we require like platform name platform version device name browser name all these capabilities we need app activity and app package then uh, next is how to get the device name version app details so all this uh, cap we need to pass all this information and the capabilities so how do you get this information for that uh, on your uh, phone or the your device what you have to do is you have to go to the about device and then over there you will find that information like your device name is over here and your version is here that platform version so that's how you get that information and to get the activity name you can use this particular uh, command cdb devices cdb shell dumbsys window windows and then it will uh, give you this particular output current focus and this is the app package and package activity so what you have to do is you have to open the application and then execute those commands and then look for this current focus string in the output and over there you will find the package name and the activity name and once you know all that information you can pass this capabilities like this one and then start the automation process then getting the main activity of your Android app how do you get the main activity of your Android app for that what you have to do is uh, you have to execute these commands adb shell pm list packages dash f then you have to pull the application that you want to for which you want to find the uh, main activity so you have to give the full path like that and then this command apt dump batching calculator dot apk so once you do that you can uh, find out the launchable activity so here is the some sample commands that I've executed so adb shell pm list packages dash f so dash f means that it lists down the applications path so entire path is over displayed over here so you can use that path to download that application so here is the command adb pull and the name of the application path so it will download that particular uh, application and then on your uh, laptop or the computer and once you have got that particular uh, apk file you can use this command apt uh, dump batching that application path and then colon grp launchable so launchable means it will just uh, display that line which contains the launchable word so here it is uh, giving that name applications main package and then main activity and then you can use that particular thing uh, to uh, like start the automation of particular application here are some of the uh, main activities or the package names for the popular applications like for the browser this is the main uh, activity browser activity for calculator this is the package and ac activity then for the uh, dialing this is the particular activity for contacts and for calendar clocks music then for the flip card this is the main activity for the fiber this is the main activity and whatsapp this is the main activity so this is how you find the various main activities for different different Android apps then inspecting the elements in the native Android app for that we can use this monitor like uh, here you can see that you can dump the uh, hierarchy of your application by clicking on this button and then once that application the hierarchy is displayed over here you can click on the elements and once the you click the element specific element details are shown on the right hand side over here you can see the class package all the properties of that element and th that you can use to uh, identify the elements inside the app that's how you ought to or inspect the elements okay moving on inspecting the elements is done now how to inspect the elements in hybrid or web apps so for that what you have to do is you have to open the application mobile application or the hybrid application on your phone and then uh, in the chrome what you have to do is you have to type this particular command in your chrome address bar it displays uh, all the applications web applications that are open on your phone as you can see 
this application is web application is open on my phone that's why it is being shown and you can click on inspect button to inspect that particular application like code of that application HTML source code on the left hand side it uh, displays the uh, your phone so I'm gonna close this one and then as you can see I have opened another tab and it is being displayed over here so I'm gonna inspect on that and on the left hand side you will see that there is a page that is open over there and you can inspect this body and all you can see all those elements inside of that app or uh, for the hybrid app also you can use this particular uh, way to inspect the elements and alternatively you can also use this chrome's tool control shift and j and all that uh, thing so this is the device toolbar and from here you can uh, click on different different devices and then your web page will be rendered depending upon that device size so that's how also you can inspect the elements uh, then you can just right click on that element and then inspect that particular element so that's how you can uh, inspect the elements inside the apps in your Android phone then element identification methods this is pretty much similar to the selenium but only th one thing that I wanted to tell you is that you, you need to avoid that XPath uh, to identify the elements in Android apps because uh, there is uh, no new error in the native apps like if you use the XPath to identify the elements in native apps it throws the error like uh, unable to uh, fail to dump view hierarchy so to avoid that you, you avoid using the XPath in native applications only then testing a website on the real Android phone to test the website on the Android phone what you have to do is you have to connect your Android phone to your uh, computer and then start the Appium server once the server is started you can use these capabilities and here in the app you have to give this app name as Chrome or the browser name as mobile browser type dot browser and once you are done with that you can uh, start the driver uh, like this one and you can use the normal Selenium API to uh, start the automation process then performing touch actions uh, to perform the touch actions uh, on the mobile app what you have to do is you have to uh, first of all uh, create one uh, class which extends the remote wi web driver and implements has touch screen and then you have to use this code for that and then you have to instantiate this particular class once you do that you can use this touch actions API in the Selenium library to tap on the element or perform some touch actions so that's how you perform the touch actions on the web applications using Selenium's API then for testing the older Android apps you have to use Android as the automation name, uh, capability in time of pa passing the capabilities you have to use that particular uh, thing so if you want to automate the applications uh, like ice cream sandwich applications uh, or jelly bean applications you can use that particular uh, capability like automation name as cell android because on the older android versions you can you, you have to use cell android for automation then how to add the dependencies for the android driver now android driver uh, is the this particular class exists in the uh, this particular uh, API like a group ID is io.ipm and then uh, artifact ID is java-client so this is dependency is required in your Maven project to access or use these particular classes like android driver, apm driver etc and here is the sample application to automate the native uh, sample example to automate the native application over here what you are doing is uh, launching the calculator remember that browser name is android and the platform name is android as well and we have also given the app package and uh, pa activity as this ones which uh, starts the calculator and uh, performs these operations so i'm gonna just execute that uh, particular application for you so here is the sample code what it does is, is opens the calculator and then uh, does some uh, sums these two numbers to uh, six so the server is running over here and my android phone is also connected so let us see so it will try to connect to this uh, uh, apm server and then uh, send the apm server will send the commands to the phone it will launch that uh, application calculator and then 
do this operations like clicking on the 2 plus 6 equal to and then also it will also take the screenshot as well so very soon it is gonna launch calculator now so as you can see the calculator is launched and it is typing this 2 and after that it will press 1 plus it will press 6 and then it will press equal to sign it will take screenshot as well and then close that browser or application so that's how you can automate the native applications on the adapter uh, phone using IBM. So that's all about the part two uh, of the Selenium tutorial. In the next part, we are gonna uh, look at uh, various uh, advanced operations like simulating back home buttons, then uh, performing touch actions using this IBM driver Android driver classes. So thanks for watching this part two. If you like this uh, video, hit like button and subscribe to my channel. Hi friends. If you find this video useful, please hit like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softforce.org for more tutorials and updated videos. Thanks for watching my video.